Visitors to Fort DeSoto may enjoy the shade provided by the park's towering Australian pine trees. What they may not realize is these trees are one of several exotic plants that are choking out native vegetation and speeding up the erosion of Fort DeSoto's popular North Beach. While Australian pines were planted many years ago to stabilize the shoreline, their shallow roots actually prevent sand dunes from forming on the beach, causing sand to wash away in a storm. That's why the park is removing these non-native invasive plants throughout the barrier island. Right now we're experiencing a natural erosion that takes place here, but it was accelerated by the tropical storm and the places where we had not been able to get to to remove the apines from the beach are now basically barren coastline with roots coming up out of the sand. Australian pines prevent native plants such as sea oats from establishing deep roots in the sand which creates stability for large sand dunes. When they take root along the shore, no native plants or animals are able to make a home there. We can't do anything with that. Um, neither can wildlife. There's no shorebird that can nest in there. There's no sea turtle that can nest in there. Further north on the beach, where the exotic pines were eliminated years ago, a healthy, wide beach has formed. This is another area that was hit by Tropical Storm Debbie in 2012. Uh, behind us, the dunes that were established were about 30 foot tall, the tallest dunes in Pinellas County. Uh, they were hit and they were actually leveled, but what uh, happened from that, it had created this beautiful wide sandy beach here and the dunes are starting to recover. This is what a healthy beach on the west coast of Florida should look like. Over the years, park staff have gradually been eliminating exotic plants such as Australian pines, Brazilian pepper, and carrot woods. This summer's project is being fully funded by the state to cut down and uproot nearly all the park's invasive plants. The funding for the project is coming from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Um, it, we're getting up to $269,000 to remove a lot of, remove and treat the exotic vegetation that is, that's starting to take over some areas that we're not able to get to. The picnic areas may look a bit bare for a while, but once the tall pines are out of the way, stands of native oak trees will have plenty of room to grow and create shade. The oak trees that we're standing under uh, were planted over you know, 20 to 25 years ago, 30 years ago, with the very thought that as they establish themselves, we'd be coming along and removing the exotics, the Australian pines, but we were hoping to have a shade source here in the picnic areas. With Australian pines and other exotic plants cleared from the park, Fort DeSoto's pristine natural environment will be able to thrive for years to come so that future visitors can enjoy the unspoiled beauty of one of America's best beaches. I'm Josh Boatwright, Inside Pinellas.